Hi everyone, welcome back to this new video for the tutorial that connect Python with a microcontroller and have a nice display. And within this video we finally get to that point where we start to get our display. So I started this code a few moments previously and now we can see that we're still reading, there is no issue, I start the stream and everything goes well. So if I want to see other channels, as I do have a microcontroller here with four channel inputs, so if I'd like to see channel 1 and I put like this, I would see my channel also 1, but if I would like to see only one, I can see like here, and I can see also how much noise it has. So this is going from 0 to 4000, um, 4096 actually, and this is the whole, how to say, the, the noise that we do have in our channel, but I can see also the channel number 2, like this, and also adding the channel number 3. So you can see all of them, but wait a second, if I would like to see the actually the voltage value. So I can do like this and change the voltage display. So I can see how much voltage I do have. And as you can see, this is almost at the limit. So I do have a voltage, a 3.3, 3.2, sometimes goes to 3.24. And this is the noise that you have here. And I can add also the other channels to see how much from voltage perspective it is. And the channel one is very interesting because the noise at that level is quite high but it's between 1120, one so this one, no, that's a mistake, I need to put it at voltage, and you can see it's between 091 volt and 085 volt. And after that I can display all the channels that I want, so I see channel 2, and also I would like to see the voltage, and finally I can also add the channel 3, and also see other voltage itself. So you can see how much option we do have, and let me play a little bit just for you to say how things go. So I'm playing with the channel 0, for example, like this. I would play with this channel also. You can see how things change, and you can see the variation over time. So within this video, we are finally completing all that we have done and having all the setup. So if you would like to see how we complete this, just follow this video and stay tuned. This video will be focusing on the data stream display. And within the whole tutorial, this is the video number 10 and the last one of part 2, which will display the data stream. And by the end of this video, you will be able to visualize your data and using properly your user interface. And so, as usual, the code is available on GitHub. You can download the file and follow up this video. All the code is in Python and the text editor will be VS Code, and I would expect that people to follow well this video that have reviewed the previous part of the tutorial, so it will be extremely easy for them to follow up within this video. For the tutorial today, we do have only three parts. First of all, we need to update quickly the function list and the option menu. Then we are going to add the display function. Finally, we will make the display itself. Okay, so let's start and have a look to the code. Before jumping right to the code, let's quickly take a look to what we are going to change. So let's connect quickly to the serial and start here adding some data. We, we don't really care, but you see here the function, the list that we do have here in the drop menu. This is a list, but what we are going to change right here, right now, is we are going to keep this one, but we are going to change the origin itself. So this was used to be extracted from a list. We are going to extract it now from a dictionary of functions. So we can use, in the next step of this video, a very efficient way to call to the function. So let's stop here, close this one, and start make the change. So the first change that we are going to do is go to the init here, the init function where we set up this one, but instead of having the function master as a list, we are going to transform it as a dictionary. So let's put this one here and this one here like this. And here we are going to call some function so that we will put here self dot and we call it row data and the next one will be self exactly the same name so um, dot and we call it vault data 
Okay, so that's a way to do it. And let's quickly create the functions here, just uh, the def itself. So def here, and we called uh, row data. And we are we will need to call the self and also the GUI. So for this one, we are making a pass here. And after that, we are going to create also the def, the vault data. So if we would like to visualize, visualize the voltage data, and we are going to put here self and um, also the GUI. Okay, so let's put a pass here. So we updated this data, so we changed the type from this to dictionary. We need to go back to this display GUI. So we don't need this one anymore. So we can bring it like this. And we go to the channel func here. So we used to directly call it because it's a list. But now BDS have to change a little bit. It's, it's a small, very small change. We are keeping this one, but we are going to extract the keys of this one. We would like to get only the keys, which is row data and voltage data display. So let's go here. And what we are going to do is simply, we will add, per, uh, not parentheses, I don't know how to say, but let's say this kind of a framework parentheses. And what we can put is func for func in this one, in self data function master dot keys. Okay, dot keys. And we are good. So what we are going, so we saved, let's save here also. And let's run again just to check that, okay, volt data does not have attribute volt data. Let's check maybe I put the wrong one. Control C. Data must object has not attribute volt data. Where is uh, the issue? Is line 20. Ah. It's not volt, to put volt data. Let's try it again. Okay, so that generated, no issue at all. Let's go here and connect and start putting. And you can see we do have the same list here with no issue in the drop menu. Good, so this is within this step. We could um, add this one, so the next step we'll be updating it. But just in case, in the option menu, so this one, we finish it. We don't need any more the display we had in the previous uh, video. So we can go to not the com GUI communication, but the connection GUI and go to start update chart. Let's close data. No, we still need data for the function later on. But we can here immediately remove this one, the append, because we don't need it anymore for display. I will keep it in the code, so if you'd like to use it for your own um, debugging purposes. So we added the function, we have the dictionary, so in the next step we are going to create the functions, then we will display them. Okay, so we have updated the new functions, and we can start just calling these functions. So and to call them, we need to go back to the GUI master, we go to the connection here, the one that we created where we added the updated chart. And after that, so we go to the try that we wanted to do. Let's make this one bigger. And you can see, so it will be just one line to call these functions. So after the self.x, the x date display, what we can do is really simple. So we go for self.data here and we call the function master, so we call the function master, and we are going directly to call, so here we are going to put the func name, the one that we extracted here, so we are going to get this func name, and we are, for the function itself, we are going to add the GUI, and that's all, that's what we need to do, because this one is already called here, so it's a function, so let's, let me show you again, this is already calling a function or a method directly here. So now that we call it, let me save the GUI master and we call to the function themselves. 
So let's start with a simple display. We are going to display the data in the easiest or the lowest way. And you will understand why we have been in the previous, um, let's say, step. We added this one. So to make everything extremely simple and easy to go. So the first one is just a display. So what we are going to do will be the GUI dot and then data. Then after that, X display. So this is what we would like to, sorry, that's a mistake. It will be GUI dot chart dot plot. So we are going to make a plot. And after that, what we would like to, to show is just GUI dot X. And this is the value we have put it here. So it's the X display. So it's quite easy and simple. And after that, it will be GUI dot y and this is the one that we already put it inside here so the y is correct and ready and after that what we would like to see for example for the color equal and we can put let me show you the one that we already also created will be gui dot color so it's straightforward and simple so gui dot color and after that, we can add a little bit of stuff to add for the display itself. So, for example, we can put dash, like this is just related to the display itself. But uh, we put cap style, like this, equal projecting, for example. And also line width, just, this is just matplotlib stuff, so you can really take a look to the matplotlib library and um, see what you want to put. So line with DTH, we can put equal to one. That's really up to you guys. So this is the first one. It's, as you can see, it's really simple. It's save here. So it will, so we put the X and Y data. The color is already something we have put it here. It depends on the channel. And then for the next one, the voltage, it will be exactly the same. So we can even directly copy paste. So that would be very simple. And let's go, uh, for example, so for the Y. So this is what we would like to display. So now we see our microcontroller, our, our MCU is, it's a 12 a bit uh, ADC. So if we would like to see at 3.3 volt, we just take this value. We divide it by 4096. We put, we put the whole thing between parentheses and we just multiply by 3.3. And that's all. This is what we do have and so it's simple stuff. And from now on, and this is what you will see in the next videos, if we would like to add a function, it will be as simple as this. Okay, good. So we completed the step. So we updated the plot that we wanted to get. Um, in the next step, we will just update the chart and we will see the result. So this is a final step that we do have, and we just have to update the charts and the figures, and that's all. So let's go here. So this is the loop where we have checked that everything goes well, and we looked through everything. So now we can go out of this loop and start updating the grid of the chart, and also the chart itself about drawing everything. And we will do it through the, the upper loop or the higher loop, so we don't waste any processing at doing some stuff again and again. So let's start by doing this inside the initial loop. So what we are going to do is self dot chart master here and dot figs like this. And we can use the my channel opt this one. So this is the one that we would like to have. And we are going to use the one here and which will be the plot. And what we are going to get is to put the grid here, like this. And we are going to create the grid. That will be, we can put the colors. So let's put color and it will be blue. So let's put here like B. And then we put the line style that we would like for our grid. So line style, where is it? So like this. And then we will have this one. So we will put a dash here. And just the last one, that would be line width like this, dth equal 
for example, 0 0.2. Okay, so yeah, that's and still the last line here we put to self dot chart master would be exactly the same actually. So let's copy and instead of one it will be zero. Let's copy this one and paste it. So here will be zero and dot canvas dot draw. And that's what we need to do. So let's take a look at it now and how things are going on. So this is our GUI. We updated everything. And let's go like this. Connect. It's failing. Yep. Start. So we can prepare. We can even prepare the display. And see. And we do have a display ready. Perfect. So let's see. This is the first one. And let me add also here the screen so I if I move this one that will be moving okay let me add all the four also so add channel one chat also channel two and also add channel three okay so let's try to move all of them okay this one is moving this one is moving and you see the channel there is a red channel and the it's for, this is a kind of issue in the ADC and the microcontroller, but this helps you to see what's going on the microcontroller and if there is an issue. So this one is working with no issue. And finally, last one here, the red one here is working with no problem at all. But wait a second. I would like to see also what's going on from voltage perspective. So if I see here and I go to the voltage function, it becomes a voltage perspective. So I can see all of them here in voltage to see how much the voltage I do have. So this like this and finally number four, uh, sorry, the channel number three, but we would like to see everything in voltage. And we can see that our voltage here is up to 2.5. I can increase here as much as possible my voltage to see I'm going almost 3.3 and all the rest going on. So here we completed our like part two of the tutorial where you are capable of controlling the visualization and see the data. So like I really appreciate the time you spend all of you on following this tutorial. Some steps were a little bit complicated, but you, if you finish this one, you can play with threading, data display, tkinter. So I really appreciate all the time you spent here. And our next step will be to work a little bit on adding some filters, adding coloring filters based on how they, the data value. So if you're really interested in the next step, which is not really mandatory, mandatory for the purpose of this, um, uh, tutorial, I'd be happy if you give me a comment or anything. Thank you so much and see you for the next video.